All right. Good morning, everyone. Is it is October the sixth, Sunday, and our scripture for today is Matthew chapters thirteen and fourteen. Let's pray together. Father, as we prepare ourselves for worship today, Father, we ask for a cleansing. We pray for you to renew our spirits today, forgiving us of our sins and, and drawing us closer to yourself. Thank you for what you're going to do today as we praise you now through this Bible study. Teach us and, and help us to learn more of you in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, chapter 13 is a chapter of parables. The parable of the sower and the soils Jesus speaks of four types of soil, the hard, the shallow, the unproductive, and then the productive or fruitful soil. He explains this parable in verses 18 through 23 with only one type of soil being the good ground who received the seed and bears fruit and produces. Uh, then he talks about the wheat and the tares. The Lord gives this parable of the church that has, has bad seeds sown among the good and both grow to maturity together. The good seed produced a harvest while the bad did not. At the harvest time, the good are gathered into the barns while the bad are bundled together and burned. Both of these uh, parables have uh, greater meanings in that the Lord, uh, the, the seeds, there's only one in four seeds that are productive, but when they produce, they produce a lot and then the wheat and the tares as it's a picture of the church showing that there's good folks and there's bad folks in the church, folks that are saved and unsaved. And only the Lord is the Lord is going to straighten everything out at the end and judge correctly. The parable of the mustard seed and the leaven, a small seed can become a great tree and a small amount of leaven permeates the whole batch. And these represent the growth and the power of the kingdom of God. The parable of the hidden treasure and the pearl of great price both represent the worth of receiving salvation from the Lord Jesus Christ. All else is worthless in compared, in compared to him. The uh, parable of the dragnet, a future judgment is announced where all will be brought before the Lord and a separation is conducted. The good fish are kept and the bad fish are cast aside meaning the saved will receive heaven and glory and the unsaved are cast into the furnace of fire or hell, eternal judgment, a punishment. Jesus returns to his own country, presumably Nazareth, and taught in their synagogue. And the people were offended at him because they, they knew who he was. They said, this is Mary's son. But Jesus said, a prophet is not without honor except in his own country and in his own house. Chapter 14, the account of the death of John the Baptist at the hands of Herod is given. Herodias' daughter danced for Herod and pleased him so. Uh, he promised her whatever she wanted. She, in conjunction with her mother, asked for John's head. Jesus feeds 5,000 men besides women and children with five loaves and two fish. He was moved with compassion for them and healed their sick also. The Lord directed his disciples to get in a boat to cross over the sea while he dismissed the crowds. And then he went up on the mountain to by himself to pray. In the middle of the night, in the midst of a storm, Jesus walked on the water to the, to the disciples. After Jesus assured them it was he and not a ghost, Peter asked to come to him on the water. And Jesus said, come, and Peter did. But taking his eyes off Jesus, he began to sink and cried out to the Lord. And the Lord lifted him up and they got into the boat, and the wind ceased. The disciples confessed, Truly you are the Son of God. Our note for today is about building faith. If you struggle with doubt, Jesus may put you in situations that require faith. He wants to take you beyond yourself and teach you more about Himself. It is in times of trust that you will truly experience God. God bless you. Have a great day.